Well, hello there, folks. It's Wayne Polson coming to you from the 13 acre house and SM Heartland just over the hill. And I want to thank you all for just being here today. Um, new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, leave some comments behind so that I can uh, engage with you and, and, and keep up with what you're doing and, and we can discuss ideas and, and questions and things like that. I really look forward to that interaction with you. Folks, life is all about transitions, isn't it? If you think about it. I mean, from the time you're conceived in the womb, that's a transition right there. Something that wasn't has become something. And uh, you go through the birth process, another transition, brave new world, right? Uh, you go through different stages of life, uh, learning how to walk, uh, learning how to talk, losing your teeth, growing new teeth, things like that. You go through stages of education, you know, kindergarten through high school and college, all transitions. You get a job, you buy a new vehicle, you buy a home, transitions. We've been through a lot of transitions, Susie and I here. And folks, I just wanna say that there's another transition that's about to take place. And we have been working on it for a couple of months. So let me just tell you right now that from this day forward, the 13 acre house will be known as Heartwood. <laughs> Observe the knot. This side of the knot has two parallel lines. You can see the search a time shape in the woods. You know, that's it. I don't need anything else. All right, so what you see behind me over my left shoulder here is about 30 days ago, my friend John and I took down this huge Alanthus tree in our backyard. And I left it lay there for one good reason, and that was to see what kind of after effects there would be from this mechanical removal of this tree. Now, as you know, um, I, I've, I've, I've shared videos in the past. If you go back to about June, July of last year, you'll see a couple of videos on how to deal with the invasive species, the Alanthus tree. And I show a method of, of, uh, of dealing with it there. It's sort of a combination of mechanical and chemical. Um, in this particular case, I didn't use uh, the same methods that I used in those nice videos. Job. I just used strictly mechanical, chopped the whole thing down, actually cut it down with a power saw. And, um, and I'll put references to the video here as I speak so you guys can catch up with those videos. But um, I left the tree lie here because I wanted to see if there was any truth uh, to what will happen if you mechanically terrorize an Alanthus tree. And by terrorize, I mean they get scared and they send out these messages, they send out these messages through the root system saying, survive, survive, start sending up suckers, start sending up new sprouts, let's, uh, let's keep this show going. And that's exactly what happened here. I let the, uh, this back area here of foliage, I just let it grow for the last 30 days. I haven't touched it with a mower. Uh, and as a result, it's being taken over by new Alanthus suckers or sprouts. So, um, by comparison, I want to show you some footage from the other tree that I did last year. It's still standing on the stump. Uh, it's been a year now, and I want to show you what's going on with that tree. So friends, here is the Alanthus tree that a year ago um, I girdled and chemically treated with triclopyr. Um, and I think I showed in those videos that within two weeks this tree was dead. Um, at least 99.9% .9 of the way dead. So as you can see, it's still standing here a year later. <clears throat> but as I look around here, in this general vicinity here, I see no evidence of new sprouts at all. There are just none. There are multiflora rows. We have some ferns. Uh, we have some yellow poplar stuff coming up over here. Um, but nothing like we saw over behind the house on Hartwood. So, um, folks, I think I'm convinced that the best way to take these trees down is 
by girdling and or triclopyr application. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. <clears throat> So as you can see, there's a big difference in the way uh, that these trees reacted to the process of being uh, destroyed. And um, so I think from now on, I've proven to myself here that the best way to get rid of these trees is chemical treatment, that is with the triclopyr uh, solution, uh, which is basically crossbow, the product crossbow, or you can buy triclopyr in just bulk form and uh, mix it with, you know, like a diesel fuel or something like that. The diesel fuel will help the triclopyr to uh, adhere to the, to the, uh, uh, the base of the tree. And um, as I mentioned in the other videos, I, I won't go through it all again. There is a method to doing that, that that's very effective and it works well. So here's the plan. What I'm going to do over here uh, before I cut up this tree uh, com completely, I'm going to go through and mow all of this down. Now, you may say, why are you going to mow it if you know that it's going to cause a reaction? Well, it's because I plan to keep mowing it. That's, the th that's one of the ways that you can combat this uh, invasive species is just by continual mechanical uh, destruction, you know, uh, mowing. Just keep, keep it mowed. If you keep it mowed, they'll eventually die out. So, um, so that's, that's the plan here. I'll, I'll take the tractor and my brush hog um, and we'll, we'll take care of it that way. And then I'll go ahead and buck this tree up, or I, yeah, I may do it backwards. I may buck the tree up first. I don't know, but the stuff's kind of tall, so it's kind of in my way. Um, I'll make that decision as I go. All right, folks, um, I don't know if I have anything else to give you in this video, but I just wanted to thank you for joining me here. Leave some comments down below. Welcome to this place that we are now calling Heartwood, and let me give you a little bit of reasoning why I chose Heartwood. This was not uh, specifically uh, a suggestion made by by you this was kind of a meld of different ideas that came from my viewers and uh, so you know Tammy Duda thank you for suggesting Heartstone Heartstone is a great name too I, I, I like the idea and she gave a great definition of why to choose that name and, and, it, and it has to do with a lot of the reasons why we ended up with Heartwood um, Heartwood as you know related to trees is the strongest part of the tree. It, it, it is uh, mechanically strong, it resists decay, and um, it also resists a lot of disease. It's resilient. Um, it, it, it's not easily stained, if you will. It doesn't change its colors very, very easily. So um, heartwood just seemed to fit this property because this property is, is uh, the result of a lot of hard work and hopefully long-lasting work that will make this, this property strong and resilient. Um, and not to mention the fact that Susie and I have put our hearts into being here. This was Susie's plan all along and I just followed her. So, um, so that's why we settled on Heartwood. Uh, nice and simple, easy to remember. That's the story. So, all right folks, so welcome to Heartwood. Leave your comments. And always remember to be kind in your neighborhood. Be kind in your family first. Be kind to yourself. Then be kind to your family. Be kind to the people in your neighborhood. Spread that kindness to people outside your neighborhood whenever you get a chance to. Um, and, 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 and you know what it's like. When someone's kind to you, you know how you feel on the inside. That's the thing we're trying to achieve by giving kindness back to the community. So let's do that, folks. I'll see you in a future video, hopefully not too long from now. Take care. If you will observe the knot, this side of the knot has two parallel lines. Search a time safe. You know, that's it, I don't need anything else.